Hi, my name is Robert. I am the lead design engineer here at Crunchy Tech, and I'm the in-house BrightSign expert. Most people probably have never heard of BrightSign before. Um, BrightSign is a digital signage technology that uh, is pretty, pretty standard in the industry. It's a very powerful platform uh, that people use for um, anything from um, you know, the, the schedule or a menu board to a, a looping video, all the way up to um, the really sophisticated types of digital signage installs that we actually specialize in here. Most people will take advantage of the basic features that BrightSign has built in, such as uh, putting a picture or a looping video. Um, that can be used for a menu board or such as the entrance to a lobby. Maybe you need a display to entice people or a call to action. Uh, but what really makes BrightSign powerful is the breadth of features that it has beyond that. Um, for example, one of the projects that we're working on right now, we have a client who has 13 displays in portrait all together, forms a large ribbon, uh, but they want this to be split up into five, basically five groups that each are displaying their own independent content at any time. But when the client decides, maybe when they push a button or a network command or something like that, all five of these players sync together to form a seamless image. And that is something that really only BrightSign can do on this scale. Digital signage is an art form. If we've done our job correctly, all the person sees is the message that you're trying to articulate. And that could be a menu board in a restaurant. If you're in an airport, that could be flight information. It could be an art installation. It could really be anything. The deceptive part is that there's this entire back end that people don't really ever see or appreciate. And that's what we specialize in. There is a media player, there is a, a TV, there's networking, um, there's your content. Content is probably one of the most important things. It's something that people forget about all the time. And it's something that we try to emphasize from pre-sale all the way through to post-sale is making sure that the client understands the needs f for their content. Um, and really making sure that at the end of the day, they have everything that they need and the package is beautiful. One of the things that makes BrightSign so powerful is that there are dozens of different ways to interact with the platform. Um, so for a particular client, they might have a need to show certain pieces of content during certain parts of the day, and um, they can certainly schedule that in the BrightSign software. Um, we can schedule that ourselves as part of the commissioning. Um, there are a ton of other ways though that you can also interact with it. So we call these uh, interactivity. And these could be anything from a motion sensor, um, somebody walking by the, the player or the installation. It could be a network command. Um, so networked players are a huge part of what we do here. Um, it could be a, an infrared remote, for example. It could even be a physical button underneath a desk. And there are so many ways that people can take these methods of control and turn them into uh, an interactive system that achieves exactly what they want. It, it really, I hate to say in, there are infinite ways to do it, but there are almost infinite ways to set up these players to do what you want. One of the most powerful things about the BrightSign platform is all of the different methods by which you can control the players. Um, there are obviously simple methods of control, um, such as um, scheduling your events throughout the day. So let's say you uh, you want to play a closing message at 5 p.m. across all of your players. It's very easy to set that up in the uh, BrightSign software. BrightSign has a huge number of other interactivity tools though. And these are methods by which you can interact with the players. So for example, um, IR and, and motion sensors are really popular. And these are, uh, you know, for example, you could have an art installation where uh, you want it to trigger whenever somebody walks by. Very easy to do with BrightSign. It's practically a core feature. Um, but there are essentially infinite other ways that you can do this. Networking is a huge part of what we do here is network control. Um, there are, you could use an IR remote, like a TV remote, literally, if you wanted to. Um, you can trigger them off of sound. You can, there are so many ways. I could, I strain to, to list them all because there are so many methods of control. One of the more interesting opportunities we've had recently is a hospital that has an art exhibit. Um, they have 
13 displays in portrait um, edge to edge. And this client wanted the ability to split these up into five groups. And throughout the day, um, these five players will be playing their own piece of content. It might be an infographic or a slideshow or some sort of looping video or something like that. Um, but at certain intervals, um, they wanted all five of these players to sync together um, and show one seamless image uh, or video at once. And it's a really good example of the syncing technology. All of it is done over the network, um, but the players are able to sync together to the exact time code to make a perfect seamless image across any number of displays, really.